Do you want this? Here in this video, I'll be showing you how to give your desktop an amazing new look with this warrior theme. Welcome to this channel. Let's get straight to it. Now to begin, we're going to head on to this tax bar and we're going to tidy this up real quick. Proceed to your tax bar, right click on it and you want to go to your tax bar settings. All right, here we're going to disable any of these we don't need. Okay, just disable that and we're going to go right here and change to hide. Now, as you can see now, this tax bar is more compact and tidy. After doing all that, just go ahead and close this. Now we're going to proceed to the next one, head on to your Microsoft Store. And here we're going to search for translucent TB. Translucent TB. All right. We have it here. Select that. Proceed to install. Click on open. And continue. I'm going to X on this and minimize this. Now this tax bar is transparent. The icons on this right side are not so visible. And now we're going to change that by going to the desktop here. Go to personalize then under colors just select colors and first thing here in colors i want to remind you guys turn on your transparency effect okay please make sure your transparency effect is on now under choose your mode go on to this right side here drop this down and go to custom under choose your default mode you're going to change this to dark now everything here is clear to see okay on to the next one I'm gonna x on this first now open your browser all the links I'll be using in this video will be provided in the description, okay? Scroll down here a bit, then select latest. And scroll down again. Of all the options here, select this first one, just click on that. After downloading that, proceed to file location. Now, proceed to highlight on this rounded TB zip file, right click on it, and select extract all. Extract. We're just going to close this one. Just X on this. Okay, this is the rounded TB folder we extracted from here just now. Cut this folder. Just right click on it and cut it. Then proceed to this PC. Go to your local disk. Right here, you want to create a folder real quick. Right click on here. Select new and folder. We're going to rename this folder. We're going to name it Twix. Open this folder. Now you're going to paste the rounded TB folder in here. Open this folder and now we're going to scroll down here. Look for the setup. Okay, here's the setup. I light on it, right click on it and run as administrator. After doing that, we're just going to minimize this first. So this is the settings from rounded TV. We're going to do some changes right here. Set top margin to five, bottom margin to five. Follow the exact setup right here, then click on apply. Just in case this side is grayed out and you cannot type anything here, click on this. When you click on that, this side will come grayed out. Previously, I've made a more comprehensive video about rounded TB. You can check my channel for that. So now we're done with this rounded TB. As you can see, we don't have anything on this right side here, but when you over to this right side, it comes out. So once you're done with this rounded TB settings, close that. We're going to go to the next step. Proceed to the browser. And now we're going to download the other links right here. We're going to start with Rainmeter. Proceed to the download icon right here and click on it. Once that's done, we'll go to the next one here. This is the theme file. Proceed to download this as well. And I'm going to go to the last one here, which is the Nexus. This Nexus duck. We're going to download it right here. Click on this icon. So after doing all this downloads, we're just going to head on back to this file location. Now, first of all, we're going to change the wallpaper. To do that, we're just going to highlight on this theme file. Right click on it because I'm using WinRAR here. This time I'm going to extract here. Open this folder and here in this folder we have this image. Just highlight on it. Right click on it and set as desktop background. We'll go to the desktop. Now we can see we have a brand new wallpaper. Okay, we're not done yet. We're going to proceed to the next step. And now this time around we're going to install Raymeter. Okay, proceed to our downloads. Here is the Raymeter setup file. Just double click on that. Select OK. Next. Finish. After downloading Remeter, you're going to get this by default. We're going to proceed to unload this. Right click and unload it. Okay, do that for everything. Now on to the next one. 
we have rain meter installed the next thing we're going to do is to add rain meter skins i'm going to head on to downloads open this theme file here and we have this folder for rain meter just open that as well now first of all we're going to install this one in the middle kelsin just double click on that click on install i'm going to minimize this all right so first of all, we're going to start by removing what we don't want from this. Okay, starting from the CPU, I'm just going to unload this. This one, just unload it. And I don't like this line here. We're going to remove this. To do that, just right click on this icon, then go to edit skin. Right here, you want to scroll down all the way. Scroll, scroll and scroll. Right at the bottom here, you're going to see this meter line. Just highlight on this whole thing here, then delete it. All right. And do the same thing here for the meter weather info and the meter location info. Delete. After doing that, go on to file, then save. X on it. Right click here and refresh skin. So this is just what we want. We want the date and the time, nothing else. Looking beautiful already. But we still have one more thing to do on this to change the color, right? In the settings, you just go ahead and click on this yellow part of it, color 2. And right now, the color code you're going to type in. For R, you're going to type in 31. Okay, go to the next one. For G, type in 77. And the next one, the last one, B, I'm going to type in 204. After doing that, click on OK. Now we have a beautiful blue color, which matches well with this character we have here. We're going to drag this to the right side here. All right. After doing all the settings, go ahead and close the settings right here. And we'll go to the next rain meter skin. Now we'll go back to the rain meter folder. Proceed to download Monterey, okay? Just double click on that. Install. Okay, this is what the Monterey setting looks like. And now we're going to add the widget we need from here to the desktop. Go on to widget. First, we're going to enable the weather. This one I'm going to enable is music. Enable volume. Before we come to the arrangement, I'm just going to bring all this down here. First of all, I'm going to change this to medium. Okay. This to wide. This is the music. Change the music to wide. For the volume, I'm going to change it to medium as well. I'll proceed to appearance. Uh, first of all, you have to ensure this is set to blur. It's going to be on blur by default anyway. Just to be sure it has to be on blur. Go on to widget size. We're going to change this to 60. Tap on enter. As you can see, we have smaller widget size. I'm going to go to widget padding as well. Change it to 5. Tap on enter. Okay. Then I'm going to arrange this. Just going to arrange this simply to the left side here. It's a very simple arrangement here. No complications. Okay. So once you're done with the arrangement, you can proceed to X on this. Close that. Now we're going to add on to the next remeter skin. Go back to remeter folder and double click on MII power. Select install. I'm going to minimize this. So by default, you should have this popping up somewhere around your desktop, but now we don't have anything. Now we'll proceed to bring the settings. To do that, just go to the right side here and expand this. And now go to the remeter icon. Then here we have the MII power. Just expand this right here. Go to the power. So you have two options here, B.ini, W.ini, B for black, W for white. We want this one. I'm going to go for the white one. Highlight on it and select load. Now we can see on the left side here, if you drag this to the side, we can see we have this MI power. Just going to drag it down right here. That is where we want it to be. So we're going to minimize this. So actually, you can hide this desktop icons. Just right click on your desktop here, go to view, then select show desktop icons. All right. This is looking beautiful already. It's looking pretty cool. And for this power, you have your sleep option here. Shut down and restart. Now head on back to download folder. 
So we downloaded Nexus earlier. Here is the Nexus zip file. Just right click on it and extract. Double click on the setup. Okay. Accept. Install. All right, now we have this Nexus. So when you install the Nexus, you're going to get these by default. So we'll go back to the download folder. And here in the Teams, just open this. Now we have this dock icon for Nexus. Just right click on it and extract. I'm gonna extract it. All right, now proceed to dock icons. Highlight on it, right click on it and cut it. Now we're gonna to send to Windows C. Then you're gonna paste it right there in your local disk. Paste it, then minimize. Proceed to select this Nexus icon. Just click on that. Go on to advanced. Select restore. Now add on to your local disk. Open dock icons and select this backup file. Click on open. All right. Now as you can see, we have this beautiful dock on the left side here. Go to your general settings. And now you're going to make sure this is checked. Run Nexus at Windows Startup. By doing this, your dock is going to reopen every time you restart your computer. Go ahead to position. We're going to take this dock to the right side. Drop this down here, then select right. After doing that, just click on apply and select OK. Now we have the dock on the right side and this is looking pretty cool already. We're not done yet. We're going to go right here to the last one, which is to download and set up the lively wallpaper. I'm going to head on to Microsoft Store. I'm going to type lively wallpaper here. Lively. Okay, this is out already. Just select this app. Click on install. This is going to take some time. Launch it right here. Just click on launch or open it. It's going to minimize this already. I'm going to drag this to the right side here. Now we're going to add the lively wallpaper into this. Like I said earlier, I'm going to be providing the links for you in the description. Okay. So we add on back to download folder and here we're going to go back to this folder and we have two options here. I'm going to minimize this. Drag this lively wallpaper into this. Just drag it and drop and click on OK. All right, we can see right here that this is looking good already. I'm just going to walk you through the settings. Actually, we don't have to do much in the settings. For the general settings, we're going to leave it the way it is. Under when on battery saver, we're going to select pause. This is going to automatically stop rain meter whenever you're on a very low battery, okay? I'm going to go to the wallpaper right here. And there's nothing much to be done actually here. Every other thing is fine here. I'm going to close rain meter. So guys, I know some of us are worried about our CPU or battery life whenever we use this lively wallpaper. Actually, you don't have to use this lively wallpaper if you don't want to. If you feel like this lively wallpaper is too much on your CPU or your battery, then you can skip this step, okay? And if at all you want to use this lively wallpaper, you don't have to use it all the time. Whenever you don't need it, you can just go right here, right click on the icon, then exit. Now, as you can see, it goes back to the wallpaper and which is just as good to activate it. You can just easily go right here and search for it. Okay, you can search for it. And once you click on that, then it's back on. Or you can create a short code on your desktop or you can pin it to your tax bar or whatnot. Guys, this is a beautiful setup right here. Before I forget, guys, we can edit this weather by right clicking on it. Go to edit weather. You can just type in your city here. For the sake of this video, I'm going to type in London, okay, tap on enter, then save. All right. When you do that, it's going to give you a forecast uh, according to your city. Okay. That's it about it. We have this volume right here. You can increase or you can decrease the volume of your audio and you can play your music from Spotify or YouTube or whatnot. You can skip your videos right here, either forward or backwards. Let's say you don't want all this anymore. You want to go back to default. I'm going to show you how to uninstall all this from your computer. Okay. Proceed to this windows icon type remove. You have this add or remove programs in your control panel. Click on that. So first of all, the translucent TB, you can type, type it right here. Translucent TB, go to the right side here. Click on this three dot. 
then uninstall it okay just uninstall it and that's it same with the rain meter go right here uninstall and for the rain meter you just make sure to check on this if you don't want all these residues and all that to remain in your computer just check on this then uninstall it okay because i'm not going to uninstall now i'm just showing you how to do it so uh you're going to do the same for nexus you have nexus there just uninstall it next uh it's a lively wallpaper okay uninstall once you're done with that go down here and go to this rounded tb okay go to rounded tb then close it okay once you close rounded tb you're gonna go back to window c in this twix gonna delete this folder okay you can just delete the entire Twix folder if you don't have any other items to add to it. After that, just delete these dock icons as well. This is from Nexus. All right. So once you're done with that, you can restart your computer and everything should be back to normal. That's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Also, turn on your notifications so you get notified when I post content like this. Have a nice day and peace out.